When it comes to golf, we are constantly bombarded with technology talk. Club heads mainly and carbon and CT of faces and CG locations. It's all great fun trying to follow it. Then there's shafts and even more options, graphite or steel, how stiff or whippy, light or heavy, and what kick point does it have? But you know what? You never really hear much about grips. And when you think about it, the grip is the only point of connection between the player and the golf club. And having the right grips on your golf club to suit your grip pressure, the way you hold the club, your finger size, that can fundamentally change the way you play and your enjoyment of the game. Now, there are literally thousands of types of grips out there, but what we've done is gathered up just a small kind of cross section of the different types, just from one manufacturer. In this case, it's Golf Pride. And what we'll do is we'll run you through each of the types to hopefully teach you a little bit more about grips and maybe just maybe you'll identify the correct grip for your game now again we're just looking at golf pride specifically here but most of the other grip manufacturers have the same technology with a different name <laughs> my little doggy is in the background there but let's start with choosing the thickness of your grips and within this decision alone even in a normal grip, you, without any other bells and whistles, you have four different sizes, which is pretty much the norm across all manufacturers. For this one here, we've got standard size. We've got a ladies or junior undersized one, which is a little bit smaller. Then you've got mid-size, which is bigger than standard, and jumbo, which is very thick. Which brings us nicely to the question of figuring out which is the right grip thickness for you and the general rule of thumb and I mean general now because there are exceptions and of course personal preference comes into play but in general what you do is you place your hand on the grip as you would for a swing and you look at your third and fourth fingers and the correct size for you will see those third and fourth fingers just gently touching the palm of your hand for me the standard grip is perfect look at my fingers just touching off my palm here if I grip the mid-size grip you'll see now there's a gap between my third and fourth fingers and my palm here and with the jumbo that gap is even bigger okay so sizing the grip with your third and fourth fingers is a great jumping off point with most standard grips okay but of course you'll see players on tour you know they just love the feel of thicker grips i'm thinking bryson the shambo bubba watson and there can be lots of reasons for those guys uh, the thick grip reduces the amount of wrist rotation intervening in the golf swing. So compare me trying to rotate my thick golf bitter water bottle here with my wrist to this little pen here. It's very difficult to rotate my wrist with a big thick water bottle. It's really easy to rotate them with a pen. It's the very same concept between a jumbo grip and the thinnest grip. So you'll find some players who suffer from a hook because of overactive wrists, they will choose these thicker grips. And then conversely, you'll get players with a slice using thinner grips to get the wrists more involved. Now moving on to a different type of grip. Let's see this one here. This is called an inner core grip. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's different. It's a little bit softer than standard and the fingers tend to sink into those softer grips, a little into the rubber a little bit more. Some people like that. But this one here has got an inner rigid plastic tube or sleeve that runs down uh, about two and a half inches from the top. And the idea is that it prevents twisting of the grip when you just put on pressure in the downswing with your top hand. So if you tend to hold the club more at the end of the grip, you're gonna love the stability of these inner core and the feeling of that solid feel as you accelerate through the downswing. Now I have two pattern types of grips of inner core grips here and this actually gives us a chance to talk about uh, different types of patterns you can get. This one here is what's called a wrap grip and that kind of harkens back to the days when all golf grips had to be applied by wrapping them onto the golf club. The same really as the grip you get on a tennis racket. But these modern grips they're all rubber but most players like the feel of the wrap style because their fingers sit nicely into the grooves here uh, that run down the spiral of the grip. This red one here then has a different pattern. You'll often see this too. It has a different pattern on the top of the grip to the bottom of the grip. And the top, the pattern on the top part of the grip is designed to support the top hand. And of course, the top hand on the grip is your main hand gripping through the fingers and the palm. It's the left hand in my case. Uh, while the pattern on the thinner section at the bottom is perfect 
for the fingers and thumb of the lower kind of less dominant hand that just sits on there to provide touch and feel and what's really nice as well in a lot of these grips is the alignment lines the, on the grip to show you the correct placement of your hands and your fingers so let's look now at a different type of grip and these ones here are what's called multi-compound grips and again these ones you'll probably recognize and they're hugely popular especially amongst players that also play golf in wet condition as well as those per picture perfect dry days but multi-compound grips are also called hybrid grips and they're two different materials on the top and the bottom one really for each hand you'll see the rubber of the top part has a kind of a cord fleck running through it and that is outstanding at providing extra stable grip for the main or the top hand especially when it's wet and again the bottom part is simpler rubber for touch and feel and remember too that multi-compound grips they come in lots of different sizes the white one here well, this is just a standard size would be perfect for me and the red one here is a thicker mid-size uh, grip if you look at the butt of the grips it's usually stamped on the butt of all the grips here the sizes on them now most grips are thicker at the top and they taper to be thinner at the bottom but not all of them these ones here are what's called reduced taper grips now as the name suggests the grip is not as thin at the bottom and that came about by feedback from tour reps that were re-gripping clubs for the world's best players and they kind of noticed that the guys were asking for extra layers of tape to be placed under the bottom part of the grip so when the grip slides on there it is actually thicker towards the bottom than a standard grip now with this reduced taper grip you don't need any of that same amount of taping because it's already built up into the grip it's actually called a plus four grip because it's the same as having four extra wraps of tape on the bottom hand here and players who use these grips they kind of like the fact that you can grip the lower hand with less pressure and less tension through the fingers and it also helps them accelerate through the shot now these reduced taper grips they also tend to be slightly softer feeling or texture than standard grips because of the additional rubber that's actually made to construct them now there's also lots of what i call educational grips out there and i love this category and this one here for instance is a multi-compound grip but this time it has a red ridge going down the bottom and when this fits onto the golf club the red ridge that runs down the it runs down the underside of the shaft and it protrudes out so that you can really feel the ridge with your fingers when you grip onto the club and this has lots of benefits when you've got a good proper grip maybe when you're shown by a pro or during a lesson you learn the best position of your fingers on this ridge you learn the correct feel and then you can use the ridge on every single club to have a consistent and correct grip throughout the set knowing that you have the right grip gives you verification and validation that the hands and the club hand are in sync and all the confidence that comes with that there is nothing worse than taking your grip standing over the shot you look down at your club and you think oh that looks wonky that looks wrong we've all been there so these educational grips and I have a standard and a thick one mid-sized one here they are a great option when you need that little bit of reassurance that your grip is perfect so there we go just a little cross section of the grip types uh, from golf pride i bet you didn't realize there was so many options and trust me this is just a drop in the ocean when it comes to choice of golf grips now we also uh, have got a separate super stroke grip video discussing different grip thicknesses in putter grips so make sure to check that out too hopefully there'll be something in there for you and of course stay up to date with all the daily equipment news and reviews on golf Bitter. we're on facebook golf Bitter twitter we're on instagram and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on this youtube video to be kept in the loop when a new golf bitter video drops. For me for now though, it's Donald out.